hi friends this is jagbir singh today we are going to uh, uh, do transmission tower design and we will do steel design so let's just start with the space and beam and then uh, i first i am going to design my base so orient uh, the grid on xz plane and then just to only add nodes just press control button and i want to make it as four meters wide now this is my base so i want to create the top of the tower so for that let's just create uh, use it like this way and again go with beams and it should be narrow so this is like that way so now i want these nodes at a height so that's why just select them with node cursor and move them by using geometry move by a joint and as i want them into vertically so that's why i wish i will move them on y direction with value 15 meters so okay so now you see all my nodes are at a height of 15 meters so what i have to do i have to connect these nodes so use this tool add beams and connect like this now you will see my base is broader and my top is narrow so now it's not my top it's somewhere in middle so what i have to do i will orient it by z and i will select all four nodes and i will then repeat them transitionally in y direction and take five meters and i will link steps so now you see now i want to create a node in between in between them at the center so for that as I, as i see on my z direction and when i turn my grid on you will see my grid it at zero zero so what i have to do i have to bring this grid onto this particular location so this is my 15 meters and that's my 5 meter that means 20 meters and i want my central node at 22 meters so that makes it 22 meters so let's just edit my grid and say my origin at y22 so hit ok and my grid is now here when i see it from top then you will see here is my grid so now i will add a node here on this center and when i just turn this off and i orient it by this then you will see what i have just did so now what i will do i will add beams like this so now this node represents top of my tower now you can see now what i have to do i have to add some beams between this area between these nodes so for that just orient it by z and select all these nodes by node cursor like this now you see so then just go to geometry and create beam along x-axis four members have been created now geometry again create beam along z-axis four more have been added so you can see now just for my these uh, inclined beams just select them again and go with insert node so that we can have some uh, nodes so that we can add some beams so i want to go with add endpoints and i will uh, total height is 15 meters so i will say five nodes per beam so i got my node points now the tricky part is that we have to add bracings onto these 
legs so for that orient it by isometry and go with add beams and there is one trick you have to go exactly like this first one then you have to leave this one so select this one this one now now leave this one and connect like so you have to finish like this now from top leave this one and add here so that's the deal you have to finish the design like this and my bracings will be done so you have to do it for the rest of them so it seems very tricky but you have to do it in order to design your bracings sorry I have done some mistakes so let me just rectify this one so for that you do one thing you orient your model like this and then you go with adding beams so just keep doing like this. so now you see I have completed so that I can make this video quick so from all the side it has been completed now what I have to do I have to add some bracings here also so for that one just select the beams these one and then just add nodes and uh, we can add one node at the midpoint and now what we have to do we have to add some beams just like making a crisscross like this from top to bottom bottom to top and just like you finish this thing sometimes it's very puzzling thing but you have to do it in order to get a good structure so now it takes talks about its hands so now oriented by Z and uh, you select these nodes right above the inclination finish and you see all four have been selected and as i want my hand in this direction so this direction is x so i will uh, repeat them in x with two meters and i will link step the same thing which i i will do with this side and transitional repeat but this side is minus x so that's why minus two meters and link steps and okay now i want one point here and one node here so that's why what i will do i will orient it like that way and i will just add beams like this one just to give some bracing now what I will do I will go with the geometry and in 
intersect select members and I will highlight all the intersections with zero tolerance so now at these intersections I want to add nodes and then go with geometry intersect members and intersect and 68 new beams have been created so now I got these node points and I select this one sorry let's just go with node cursor and transitional repeat by one meter in minus direction minus x direction and <clears throat> now I've got my node point here so what I have to do I have to create beams on that point so that I can finish my hands now you can see how it for, for what I'm talking about now the same thing what I now I have to do just select this one and select this one and transitional repeat in x direction with plus one value and okay now add beams from this point to this this sorry the wrong one this one and that one now my hands have been done so my modeling of my tower is complete all what i have to do now i have to assign some specification to it so just go with general and section database <coughs> now now what i have to do just go with indian standard now you will see steel cold foam steel timber aluminium so i want to use is 801 so for that i am going to cold foam steel and just go with angles and take the first one with steel material and add close assign it to view and now go go for some support and create a pin spot for my structure and then select it and orient it by z direction and select these nodes of the base and assign to selected node now i am going with load and definition i will only uh, let me just create only dead load and simply assign myself weight in minus x direction minus y direction with factor one and then select it and assign it to view now just analysis and print and do my analyze so when i go with post processing I, and i will see with animation when i go and i see my deflection then you will see there is no notable dis, uh, deflection right now so what i will go i will go with modeling and design for that i will choose current code as is 801 this is specifically for uh, cold cold form steel so i am just selecting it select parameters then choose this one this particular one FYLD or real strength of steel add okay now with defined parameters let me just take the default value and add now command now my check code now what my check code does this command checks the specified members against the specification of desired code whatever code I am choosing it will it will cross check with my uh, members which I have taken so I am going to add it then member takeoff how many members will be required then select and then take off how many quantity will be required after that then just go here and assign it to view 
then check code also assign to view and then steel member take off assign to view and the select one assign to view and steel take off assign to view now again i have to code analyze save yes um, i'm not having any error warning or notes and my this is my information about my takeoffs and uh, and my steel takeoff data is here so that's it for today so what you have to do uh, you like uh, whatever topic you require uh, specifically you can leave it by your comments and if you like the video then you uh, hit like button and uh, you can subscribe the channel this is Jagdeer Singh sign off bye bye Jai Bharat Jai India